its moon base is not alone. After more than half a century of speculation and controversy, Hungarian astronomers and physicists say they have finally confirmed the existence of two Earth-orbiting moons supposedly entirely made of dust. As they describe in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, the team managed to capture snapshots of the mysterious clouds lurking just 250,000 miles away, roughly the same distance as the moon. Researchers previously inferred the presence of multiple natural companions to Earth, but the dust clouds weren't actually seen until 1961, when their namesake, Polish astronomer Kazimierz Kordyluski, got a glimpse. Even then, their presence was questioned. The Kordyluski clouds are two of the toughest objects to find, and though they are as close to Earth as the Moon, are largely overlooked by researchers in astronomy says study co-author Judith Slees Balog, an astronomer at Eovo's Lorand University in Hungary. It is intriguing to confirm that our planet has dusty pseudo-satellites in orbit alongside our lunar neighbor. According to the new findings, each Kordyluski cloud is about 15 by 10 degrees wide, or equal to 30 by 20 lunar disks in the night sky. This translates to an area in space about 65,000 by 45,000 miles in actual size nearly nine times wider than Earth. The clouds themselves are enormous, but the individual particles that comprise them are estimated to measure just a micrometer across. Sunlight reflecting off these particles makes them glow ever so slightly just like the pyramid-shaped glow of the zodiacal light that results from dust scattered between the orbits of the planets. These satellite clouds, however, have remained hidden in the darkness of space until now simply because they are super faint. It is very difficult to detect the Kordyluski clouds against the galactic light, starlight, zodiacal light, and sky glow, says study co-author Gaber Horvath, a physicist at Eovo's Lorand University. Now, using special polarizing filters on their cameras, the researchers have managed to reveal the scattered light reflecting off the individual particles within the clouds. There are five specific points of stability in deep space where they figured the moons could be located. These orbital sweet spots, known as Lagrange points, are where the gravitational pull of two orbiting objects such as Earth and the Sun is balanced out by the centripetal force of their orbits. Here, objects remain trapped in relatively stable positions and at constant distances from both the Moon and Earth. Kordyluski first searched two of these points, L4 and L5, in the hopes of finding solid body moons in the 1950s. He tried to tell the rulers of Earth at the time that Earth had more than one companion. It is no secret that the rulers of this world have been keeping a lot of secrets about space and extraterrestrials from the masses. When it comes to information being released from world governments one would surely have to read between the lines of disinformation. They do not ever release all of the facts. That would only lead to them being caught in many many more lies. The day of disclosure is approaching rapidly. And uh, Columbia Huntsville for Scott, um, if you haven't adjusted the uh, 35 millimeter interbarometer yet uh, you could adjust that to two seconds um, if you've already uh, passed that step uh, that's no problem and you can proceed okay uh, go to two seconds on the interval i'm going to no problem Just take a couple seconds to reset and there's a sample seven looks like a different material than the last one Columbia for Scott, uh, that should be the uh, same type of material. Okay, is it thicker or is it, because it looks like it might be a little thicker? Uh, no, it, it, it seems like it appears that way, but it should be the same thickness. Okay, and uh, we modified the thermocouples, as you said. 
Okay, thanks. 